Hello Cup Coders and welcome to the Cup Code Spotlight. Today we are looking at a game called Fez. F-E-Z. Fez. The name kind of reminds me of Pez, but this is nothing like Pez. Dispensers or the candy. So let's go ahead and get into it. Choose a safe slot. You know what? I'm going to choose a new slot here. Start a new game. And we're going to show you what phase is like from the beginning. We're not going to play all the way through. As you know, I only do a maximum of 30 minutes per show. Now, I am playing with the keyboard. Press up to enter a door. Now, right at the beginning, this looks fairly straightforward, right? Walk up to the mailbox. Mailbox being... That's not it. Press left control to read the mail. Dear Gomez, please meet me at the top of the village. I have something very important to tell you. Today is special day. Geezer. Use IJKL to look around. Press left shift to talk to villagers. No Gomez! Hi Gomez! <laughs> and we're climbing up on the vines. There you are! Today is special day! Adventure is ready! It's Gomez time! Oh? Anytime now! Just you wait! There you go! Pretty! Look at all the pretty lights and the deck spinning objects. But I don't understand it. It makes no sense. Up, 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 and away! Nah. I'm drunk! Seriously? Still don't understand the words you're saying there, buddy. Okay, Bork. Right. What is that, a cherry? Looks like an apple. 
No, it's a cherry. It's a cherry apple. It's a hat. Right? I know another game character that wears a hat too. Use A and D to change your perspective. Yes, that is intended to look like do that. Your game has changed. Now you can look around your room and see that the first view that you looked at makes your room look better than it really does. Look, you got paper wallpaper coming off, you got spider webs up in the corner there. Your room's crap, dude. Gomez! Something went wrong. I need your help. I was sent to guide you. I am Dot. The hexahedron has been fragmented, shattered and scattered all over the world. You must restore it. Without it, everything will collapse. You have received a gift. Great secret has been revealed to you. There is a world beyond your village and dimensions beyond the ones you occupy. This door leads to the outside world, but for now is sealed shut. The markings on it indicate it won't open until you have collected at least one cube. There are many such doors in the world, each requiring more cubes than the last. To reach the end of this journey, you will need to find all 32 cubes. But first, you must leave this place. There are 8 cube bits in this village, like this one right here. Together, they'll form a full cube, which you can use to unseal the door. Find them! So quick, recap. Shiny golden cubes, very important. Gotta find them all. Or else, the universe collapses in a few minutes. No pressure. And remember, use DA to change your perspective. Okay, get going! Yeah, let's go ahead and check in here. Look inside. So abide. You notice something, watch this. To open it, face it from the front and press left control. We have a key. You found a key! Keys can open any locked door, but it can only be used once. And I like how it shows you what's in there. I kind of thought that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a cube. Get that cube. Check inside here. They are inside the houses too. It's been so long. It's your turn now. I'm tired. Plus, there's the eye thing.
Oh, that's a picket. That's a camera. Okay. Oops. That's cute, but that's not possible. Sure it is. here. Yeah, there's more than one direction. <laughs> oh. And there's another key! We still haven't even found the use for the first key. all of them. Talk to this guy. It's really pretty, but don't do it again. Alright, so we're missing one somewhere. Pay attention in case you miss it again. I don't want to miss it. Bingo! And that's all eight of the cubes in this area. You did it! Now you can unseal the door. Let's go! Sure, let's go. Hey, listen. I know this is your first time outside the village, so if you get lost, you can use the world map. Let's escape to bring up the world map. And there be the world map. Huge map, isn't it? Zoom in S and W. I kind of lost the world map. I don't see it. Hold on. There it is. So, obviously, as you see, there's a lot more op available to the map. It just kind of goes and goes and goes. I don't know if it goes on and on and on forever. I don't know how that works. So... This is obviously the town. Uh, there appears to be... Ooh, wait. So it's in 3D as well. So it, it, it connects to different places in a three-dimensional space. So there appears to be locations that I can connect to from the other locations 
that I can connect you from within the village. Look up there, look in the wall. Doesn't that look like a head face? I missed. How did I miss? He's doing it. not so bad was it but I promise you it does get tougher as the game goes on I'm gonna go up gotta go up gotta go up whoa check this place out feels pretty important eh let's have a look around shall we oh no way it's another door I told you it would be a lot of doors. This one requires four cubes. This one eight. And this one sixteen. This place is like some kind of important door place. Oh, I don't know. That's why you're here. Now go find them cubes. Well, I don't see anything below. Everything is above. Alright, so we need to get... Oh, and one more thing. Press tab, you'll bring up the inventory. The inventory keeps track of the things you find. Okay, now I'm done, I swear. Sure, let's press tab. Two cube shards, treasure maps, artifacts, blank. Cool. Is there anything above here? Not that I see. Okay. In we go. Hmm. So if you haven't noticed, this game is played in a 2D space, but includes 3D elements. Go inside here. That takes us to over here. See how all this works together? It's very confusing, actually. A little baffling, but it is what it is. Need a door, a key to get in here. Let's go ahead and use one though. Oh, look in the upper corner there. What do I have? 
And there's a treasure map here too. Ooh. You found a treasure map. Map of what? To where? I don't know. Figure it out yourself. So we'll pull this up. So this is a treasure map. It's telling us where to find treasure, but we have to identify where it's at. It's going to replace... Oh no, maybe not. Alright. going here. Bell Tower, right? Ding dong! Ring the bell by pressing the left control in front of it. Each one has a different symbol. I'm sure that ringing those bells will have some effect later, but I don't know what the effect is because you're gonna have. It looks like you might have to do them in a certain order. Now this is gonna take us back to that platform behind us. Watch. Out, I guess. this takes us to another another realm. Yes, this takes us to another realm. Uh, 
I wonder what this means. Check them apples out. Okay, so there's four of these cube things. Questions. Do they have to be on top of the block? Mm -hmm. There, where I see the light at? Mm -hmm. Those chunks. Get up. Push it over. You know, big push over, aren't you? Yeah, I think it has to be up top there. But I don't know how to get the ones on the bottom to go up. Push them all off. Let's go. Okay. So that's a way to get started. So here's what I think is happening. Is you have to arrange it so that no matter which way it's facing. Like if, if it's facing this way it has to arrange it like that. Aha. Uh -huh. Nothing's holding it up there. <laughs> well, that kind of sucks. Alright, well, I just kind of messed it up. No big deal. Out we go then. I mean, it just, and that's the kind of things that, you know, make this game interesting is that there's all kinds of puzzles in the game. Not just, you know, the 3D rotation stuff and figuring out which way to rotate to do stuff. Alright, well that's going to be it for this show. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. As always, a like, a comment, and a share lets me know that you care. 
and we'll see you in the next episode of Cupcoat Spotlight. If you enjoy this game, I would definitely suggest you go and purchase it. It is available on Steam right now. And, well, see you in the next episode of Cupcoat Spotlight.